The Ocklawaha River is the largest tributary uh, to the St. John, the Lower St. John's River. And historically there was a flow contributed by the springs, several springs, there's 20 submerged springs here, a total of probably 25 or 30 springs, plus rainfall, and the water flows used to be a billion gallons a day here. And that's been reduced by about 40% over the last couple of decades. And that's a very significant impact because the St. John's River runs another 100 miles to the Atlantic Ocean. And that particular run is the estuarine portion of the St. John's River. So it's actually a 100 mile long estuary. Estuaries work because you have fresh water that flows in and meets salt water coming up with the tides. And if that salt balance is out of whack, which it is right now, you start to see declines in, the, in both the commercial and recreational catches of many species of fish. And that's one of the reasons we're really concerned about further dredging in the river, combined with loss of declines in flows. And that leads to these salinities, which are not optimum, and, and we need to get those back. The Jacksport dredging doesn't necessarily have to be a, a bad deal. The, the river keepers made it very clear with my support. I work for ports. I was consultant. I've been a consultant for five different ports in the state of Florida, you know, on the side of dredging and on the side of mitigation. I know how it works, and the, the Jack's Port should know it too. Their mitigation plan is woefully inadequate. If you're going to spend close to a billion dollars on a project, you should be able to spin off some money for that and do an adequate mitigation program. And I think they understand, and I think with a little bit of pressure, that you might see that they'll just simply step up and say, we agree. We've got to do adequate mitigation for this project in order to offset those impacts. There's going to be impacts. They've underplayed the impacts to salinity. There's no question about that. They've underplayed the cumulative impacts. How long have we been dredging the St. John's River? 100 years. How many different projects have people said, don't worry, it's not going to cause a problem? and the next one will cause a problem, and the next one will cause it. Well, that's cumulative impacts. You start backing them up, and pretty soon, we've got high salinity water coming out of the Atlantic and killing our submerged grasses around the city of Jacksonville. That's related to historical dredging. I know it, they know it, they just don't want to admit it.